We are less than three days away from the solar eclipse and communities across the state and first responders are making last minute preparations for the hundreds of thousands of people, <laughs> yes. maybe even more, coming to the natural state. Good evening and thanks for watching Fox 60 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. Some of them may already be here. Yeah. I'm Donna Terrell. We have team coverage across central Arkansas. Our Whitney Thomas is in Hot Springs with a look at a festival that's in the final stages of setting up. But first, let's go to our Samantha Boyd with a look at how hospitals are preparing for possible emergencies. Sam. Yeah, Donna, more people in the area sadly means more risk for accidents. The Arkansas Hospital Association tells me for more than a year now, hospitals in this area have been preparing for all the people coming into town and making sure they have enough supplies, staffing, and even food for worst case scenario. We have kind of tried to prepare for this like it's going to be a long weekend by getting supplies to come in. High excitement in Arkansas this weekend as we prepare for the total eclipse coming with high risk too. Recognized early on that we needed to probably block these dates out with our emergency department staff so we could be fully staffed in case there was a lot influx of people coming in. Wright Cookus, executive director of emergency management at UAMS, says preparing for the eclipse is like preparing for severe weather in Arkansas because traffic and an influx of people in town means anything could happen. Our emergency operations center will be open starting Sunday morning and we will go through Tuesday late afternoon and then make a decision after that based on the outflow of traffic. A spokesperson for the Arkansas Hospital Association also weighing in on the planning that's taken hospitals more than a year now, telling me in part, quote, hospitals have had time to use visitor influx projections to plan for supplemental staffing, materials, food, and medical supplies based on their facility's bed size, location relative to the path of totality, and resources used during typical business operations. Now, of course, hospitals are having to prepare for accidents of any kind, but Cookus tells me when it comes to the eclipse, there are a few ways to stay safe. Make sure you're wearing the right eyeglasses if you're going to be watching the eclipse. If you're taking a photo, make sure you're using the proper filter for that. And then also simply just be aware of your surroundings, he says. Now, to see that full statement from the Arkansas Hospital Association, you can head to our website. That's fox16.com. Reporting live from Little Rock, Samantha Boyd, Fox 16 News.